Hello, guys. Yes, I know. I've been out, but I've been dealing with life. But um, I will definitely try to be more consistent with the readings and um, put myself on more of a schedule. Okay. This reading is for March for Aquarius. Okay. The Magician. Look at you. The power is within you to make shit happen. Okay. You are somebody that actively uh, does. Use your intuition. You figure out what the hell it is that you want and you go for it. Okay. I'm going to put that right there. I was going to put it back in the deck, but something's telling me to leave it right here. I do feel like maybe there is a Gemini, Virgo, maybe even Scorpio type energy that is significant for a lot of you. Now, before I actually turn the camera on in the pre-shuffle, I saw the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups facing each other. I do feel like there are... Um, maybe some same sex uh, relationships at play here. I feel like there's a lot of feminine energy, whether male or female here. Um, I feel like there's a lot of, of sexual attraction and on both parts for you and your person. But one of you is actually holds the power or the control of the relationship and I feel like the Queen of Cups may have been you guys since the magician is coming here and you are wielding the power to control whatever is going on by the power of manifestation um, the Queen of Cups is actually holding her cup away but she give it and she take it away Okay, depending on uh, what the situation is. So I think the Queen of Wands is significant for a lot of you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But um, yeah, let's see what's crossing you. What's crossing my Aquarius? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is, is, is like deceit. So I, I think what's going on here is that somebody here is being emotionally manipulative. Okay. Um, knowing exactly what they're doing. Knowing how to pull somebody's um, strings, knowing how to guide a situation. Um, some of you will some power that you don't even realize that you have. And I don't know if you intentionally do it, doing it, or you are doing it to protect yourself, to protect your feelings, to protect your heart. Okay. So this is definitely your energy. Now, keep this in mind. This could be a situation that is vice versa. I could have the cross watchers here watching and their energy is coming through so very heavy, okay? Because somebody could be, you know, emotionally manipulating you guys. So it could go either way, okay? Let's see what the underlying issue is here for you. What is the underlying issue for Aquarius? King of Pentacles. Trying to get that bag. <laughs> I feel like there's somebody that's very stubborn here. Okay. In the mix of this. Has very masculine energy. Does not have to be a male though. Because women too have masculine energy. And it can shine through sometimes more so than the feminine energy in a female. Okay. But there's somebody here that um, wills the power, holds the purse strings, you know, that is in control. And that is, is an issue in this situation. Somebody has more power than the other. 
Taurus energy I feel is here and possibly Virgo or Capricorn but I feel more Taurus than anything what was going on in the recent past for Aquarius the will of fortune something shifted and changed in your life something changed and with the will of fortune I always like to remind people that it does not necessarily mean that there was some good shit that happened. The will of fortune signifies change. So everything like recycles and comes back around. So if things are down, they will come back up. And if they're up, they'll eventually come down. It's the circle or the cycle of life, right? So, in the past, something shifted one way or the other for you guys here. And I'm kind of feeling like either, either if this is you, you gained your power. You recognize your power. Which means that before in the past, you felt like somebody took your power away, right? If this was the other person, if this is the other person rather, then nine times out of ten, you were the one that wielded power in a relationship in the past. But now somebody else holds the power. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So something changed. And I think you feel that. And and you're almost like, wait a damn minute. What is going on here? Oh, shit. Sagittarius Piscean energy there. Aquarius is crowning thoughts. Ten of Cups, you just want to be happy. You want the ultimate happiness. You want to be fulfilled inside and out. But more so on an emotional level. I think you want a committed, loving relationship. You want to be happy. And you want somebody to feel this way about you. Again, Piscean energy. It's your crowning thoughts. Some of you may be happy in this situation. If you're the one in control and you feel like this person is so attracted to you, this person is attractive, and on top of it, they're so attracted to you that, yeah, I got this shit. I got this in the bag. You know, I'm happy. I'm in control. What's coming in for Aquarius? The Emperor. I'm in control. You guys are in control. You're in control. I kind of feel like whatever's going on between you and this person, it works for you. It works for the both of you. This is Aries energy here. Because I feel like one person is in control and the other person, well, let me rephrase. One person feels like they're in control and the other person is allowing it, is a thing. It's almost like a married couple. And a lot of times, you know, people will say, happy wife, happy life. So in that situation, the husband would allow a lot of things that his wife does not necessarily because he thinks she's right but because he wants to keep the peace in his life <laughs> you know so I feel like that's kind of like what the situation is going on right here okay it's allowing somebody to be is submissiveness is what it is that's what I'm getting here <clears throat> How is Aquarius feeling in this situation? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you guys, I think you're a match, actually, to be honest with you. I feel like one person is, is allowing the other person to shine, and that's what works for you. Taurus Energy. 
What is the influence here? Flipped over justice, what I see. It's only right. It's only right. Okay. It's only right. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is a number 10, a shift and a change. This is what's just. Depending on situations that have happened before in the past, at this point, this is what is just in this situation. Doing what is right, doing what is necessary for all parties involved. That's what that is, guys, that Libra energy. What's the influence here? Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is always about leaving something behind. Something is just not jiving with you emotionally. So I'm, I'm getting this feeling that you guys are over something. You're over something. Maybe this whole situation is not working for you. Maybe you've been like, you know, just kind of making yourself obscure for this other person. And that's not working for you anymore. So I see you really like being over something and um, on an emotional level and removing your emotions from the situation, uh, probably having some resentment even. The emperor really does not show a lot of emotion, does not mean that they don't, they don't feel emotions, right? And I feel like the emperor is you. And, <coughs> excuse me, with the Eight of Cups here next to the Emperor, it really makes me feel that you guys have started to show some emotion. Because being the Emperor in all of its glory um, is not really serving you in this relationship. So you know you have to kind of leave some of those tendencies behind in order to make this relationship work. And I feel like you guys are feeling that. Like you can't just be um, a bulldozer. You can't just be the one that is in charge all the time. I do feel like both of you guys are like um, very similar. But both people can't be like in charge or, or in power or you're going to constantly butt heads. Somebody has to say, okay, well, I'll let you take the lead this time. And then next time, I'm going to take the lead. And it has to be like this unspoken kind of thing, you know. And that's where the connection comes in at. It's unspoken. Each of you kind of knows when to get out the way. Okay. Hopes or fears for Aquarius. Temperance, you just want to get along. <laughs> Temperance is Sagittarius energy, but it's balancing your emotions with your actions. And it's trying to see something from somebody else's point of view. And this is what I think that you are striving to do now. Because I feel like before you had a hard time doing that. Hmm. We see Sagittarius and Pisces right here. There is definitely a change going on here. Okay. Overall outcome for Aquarius. Eight of Wands. Being able to move forward and move on. Make strides. Some of you are actually traveling. Some of you are um, reaching out. Extending yourselves um, uh, to other people. It's my cat. But I feel like this is Sagittarius energy as well. This is using effective communication to get across what it is that, that you want, what you need, um, and, and just being open is what this is. So this is a very good reading, I feel. 
let's see the only thing here is a seven of swords which in this case i don't feel like this is is bad because all the other cards around it are not okay i think this is somebody that is that has been used to getting their way regardless of somebody else um deciding that that's no longer working for them they're still doing what they feel like they should do for themselves but um and speaking their mind and, and things like that but not um not just doing things on their own without respect to the other person is what i'm feeling <clears throat> Deception. Oh, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Maybe not. Maybe not. See how shit changes? Huh. Somebody here. Somebody here is using some trickery. Somebody here is using some trickery, guys. If somebody seems too good to be true, nine times out of ten, it's too good to be true. And you'll feel it. Things may seem to be going way too good or something. Um, there's definitely something going on here. I'm going to pull this one too because it's sticking out. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Sometimes other people can see what we can't. This concerns me here because somebody is good. But we see it's coming on top of the magician and the seven of swords here. Who is this magician? This Gemini energy, is that you or is that the person that you're dealing with, guys? Somebody's here. Somebody's in this reading that's very, um, they are able to disguise themselves quite well. Okay. Be mindful. Be mindful, guys. That just threw the whole reading off has got me like feeling some kind of way <laughs> but be mindful of that okay so that is what i have for you guys and i'll be speaking with you soon bye now